knows that. It's all, it's all, it's all relative, right? <laughs> Tyler, we're going against the, the Pittsburgh Steelers and, and that defensive front. You went against them just recently. What, what does it take to, to be successful against that, that defensive front? Yeah, um, you know, it's a physical front. Um, you know, out of all the you know, teams we've gone, ag- gone against this year, you know, it's one of the more physical fronts. Um, you know, the things they throw at you, um, the style they play, um, and the guys they have, you know, makes it a difficult front to go against. But, um, you know, just at the end of the day, you got to focus on, you know, the Ravens, you know, focus on what we can control. And I think, you know, we did a good jo- job of that the first game, just got to carry it over to this next game. Tyler, J- JK just said that he felt like if you you guys would have to win multiple games in a row in the playoffs with kind of a run first offense, he thinks you guys have the ability to do that. Do you do you agree with that? And as an offensive lineman, would you even relish that in, in a way? Yeah, um, you know, especially this time of year. Um, you know, running the being able to run the football, being capable of running the football is important. Um, you know, I think you know we're starting to gel together and improve on some things. But you know, the good thing is there's a lot of stuff that we can still get better at. Um, and there's still more yards out there for us to get. So, you know, when the time comes and they need us to run the ball, you know, I think we got the guys to do it, but it's just all about going out there and actually working together and doing it. And what does it take? I mean, there's several times out there where it seems like everybody knows you're going to run the football and you're able to run the football and run it pretty well. What does it take to, to be able to run the ball when a lot of times people know exactly what you're going to try to do? Yeah, uh, you know, just credit to the guys that we have. Um, they're aligned, they're running backs, you know, the wide receivers working hard, quarterbacks getting us uh, getting us in the play, in the position. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it just comes down to who wants it more. Um, but, you know, it's certainly not easy. You know, there's been a couple of times that, you know, third and shorts, fourth and shorts that we haven't gotten. So it's just about putting that together and being more consistent, um, you know, when it when it comes down to, you know, converting. Tyler, notice on film the way you finish a lot of blocks. You know, you're a guy that goes definitely to the whistle. Can you talk about your mentality in terms of finishing blocks? Yeah, I think, you know, the biggest thing is you never know, you know, where the ball is going to hit. Um, you know, you, I mean, for me, I don't want it to be my guy to make the play. Um, just, you know, just that's what the, the whistle is for. You know, that's what the referees are for, you know, play to the whistle. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you just got to play hard. Um, that's how football's supposed to be played. So you know, that's something that I've always, always tried to do. You know, I certainly don't always do it, but I try to do it. Yeah, I'm Coach, Coach talked about them lining Cam up over you the first matchup and you doing well with that. Um, can you just talk about that and also what it's like playing against a guy like that twice in the same four-week period, like something you don't do in college? Yeah, um, you know, he's a very good player. You know, he's Pro Bowl All-Pro for a reason. You know, I definitely noticed that when I was going against him. But, you know, at the end of, end of the day, I need to focus on my technique, you know, being in the right position, trusting my teammates. Um, you know, and then at the end of the day, just play as hard as I can. Um, and he'll certainly give you a he- heck of a challenge. So, you know, that's what, you know, makes it fun playing the Steelers. You know, they got guys like him over there and a leader like him over there. So um, that's why we're going to have to come ready to play on Sunday. J.K. Dobbins talked about, you know, his offensive lineman making his job easier. How does J.K. make your guys' job yeah, running backs have done a tremendous job, you know, um, you know, making us look a little bit better than what we are. And, you know, just the, the holes they see, um, their ability to, you know, get through holes and, you know, pick up those extra yards, you know, breaking tackles and stuff like that. So having a running back and a group of running backs like that is, is important to a successful run game. I think that's why, you know, these past couple of weeks have been successful because, you know, they've been running the ball really well. Tyler, we often hear about the rookie wall and just, you know, the adjustment from college to the NFL. Even some of your teammates have talked in the past about that challenge. How are you feeling at this point in the season, considering I think you've only missed maybe a snap or two all year, and just uh, you know knowing you got a playoff run ahead as well? Yeah, you know this is awesome. This is what I signed up for. You know I love the game of football. There's no other place I'd rather be. So um, you know obviously it's been it's been long from going to training to getting drafted to coming here, but no other place I'd rather be. This, this team is known for going with heavy personnel, probably more than any other team in the league. Does it? Does it feel like you're out there with seven offensive linemen sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes, but, you know, the more the better. Um, you know, any time. You know, I think that's what's, you know, helping us getting those, um, you know, helping and setting up those big runs is, you know, we got the guys to, to block people. Um, but like I said, you know, there's more out there. You know, being more consistent uh, is definitely a key for us. All right, thanks, Tyler. Cool. Thanks, thanks, guys.